This is a video to document some of the failures I've been having with printing uh, this particular small gear ever since I put the new 0.3mm nozzle on the Huxley. I haven't been able to work out what's happening yet, why it's doing it, but um, I'm just trying another version now. And this is the point where it seems to fail halfway up printing the gear section. It always seems to manage the base section okay. And then for some reason that I haven't been able to work out yet, uh, the filament jams. Um, it stops extruding um, and the uh, extruder, which is up there, keeps chuntering backwards and forwards but all it's doing is grinding away the filament and making a hole in it and not advancing it. At first I thought it was because something was blocking uh, the hot end, the nozzle, and it wasn't able to come through but um, when it happened last time, uh, as soon as it happened I pulled the filament out fed a new piece in and demonstrated that there was no blockage. It would feed quite nicely through the hot end. So that set me thinking that maybe the problem was uh, with the extruder. And what's happening at this point is that it's doing two things. It's going around the outline of the cog and then it's filling in. So in this version of the model, I've changed it to create a double outline. So it's making the outline stronger and reducing the amount of infill. The other thing that I've done is I noticed that the retraction setting on the, uh, on the extruder, and that's the thing it's doing where it goes backwards uh, for the infill, at the moment when it's going around doing the cog, it only goes forwards. When it does the infill, there's an awful lot of backwards and forwards movement. And um, I was a bit concerned that the backwards and forwards was excessive and possibly the thing that was grinding the filament too much um, and causing it to uh, wear away. And, and then once it... Uh, once it started to fail, it would fail catastrophically and nothing would come through. So I reduced the retraction distance from 3.1 down to 1.8 so that it wasn't winding it back as much as it was previously. So between those two things, reducing the retraction distance and decreasing the amount of infill, um, I'm hoping that possibly this gear will finish. Uh, the reason I need it to finish is that that gear on the extruder, the one at the bottom there, is where, the, where that screw is. You can see it's cracked um, and I need to replace it but of course I need to uh, keep it working long enough to get the, the current one to print out. It's possible that the, the, the cracked gear is um, part of the cause of the problem with the, these rapid forwards and backwards movements. But um, I, I've tested it and it seems to be fairly strongly held on, so I, I don't believe that that is the cause of the problem. Anyway, the sooner I can replace that gear, the happier I'll be. And uh, as you can see, these three failed prints have... Um, meant that I haven't been able to replace it yet. Anyway, fingers crossed, this one's looking good and I'm hoping that um, if I can get this one to finish I'll, uh, I'll be able to stick that on the extruder and I might have solved the problem in the process as well. That's all for now.